This video is on pressure, a supplement to lecture 2 in topic 2. First, let's look at the picture. On the left, we see a pressure gauge as we see it outside. And on the right, it is inside the pressure gauge that we do not see except the pointer that we have here. There is a tube called Borden tube inside the gauge which looks like a balloon but of course it's a hard balloon because it's made of metal it's like a cylindrical balloon when we connect the opening of the tube to a pressure like a cylindrical balloon tends to open tends to straighten as a result this tip tends to move up because the tip is connected with a metal link to a gear which is called sector it tends to make this gear move counterclockwise and this gear in turn is connected to a second gear which is called pinion as a result it makes the pinion move clockwise will move the pointer clockwise as well and that's why we see the pressure increases let's see what is the pressure reading this is 80 this is 90 so i would say the reading is 87 what are the units of this reading it is psi g which is the pound per square inch read by the gauge this is different than psia the relationship between PSIG and PSIA. PSIA is 14.7 bigger than PSIG. So a zero PSIG is 14.7 PSIA, which is the atmospheric pressure. Now, if this pressure is removed and the opening of the tube is left open to the atmosphere, the tube relaxes and as a result the tip tends to move down and that will make the sector move clockwise and the pinion move counterclockwise and we will see that the pressure will decrease and will come all the way to zero which is the atmospheric pressure which is zero psig.